Hello viewers of this video. Today what I have for you is a smart furnace design. Another smart furnace design version 3. Now if you've seen my first and second uh, designs you would know that those pretty much suck now because of 1.5. Uh, so yeah I have for you smart furnace version 3. Now before I start this video I'd like to give um, thanks to Winteg, which is a member here on the Redstone Innovation channel, because he basically designed uh, this design. Uh, he saw my design that I built here on the server, then he did, remade it, and it, he made it amazing. So, if you haven't seen the Redstone Innovation channel, uh, be sure to check them out. I'll post the link in the description, and shout out to Winteg. Okay, so let's get started now. So, right here, as you can see, we have furnaces, um, spaced two by two and uh, basically what a smart furnace is what this smart furnace design does as basically instead of um, when you put in items uh, the light turns on will only the indicator light will only turn on once the stuff is done smelting as you can see there so you can take it out push the reset button which is on top to reset everything so nice thing about this is that if you're on a server uh, for example with multiple people on and you're constantly running back and forth smelting different items uh... what the indicator light um, kinda helps you is uh... when something is done uh... because if you have multiple furnaces together i know like clicking you're constantly having to click through each furnace to see which one you smelted um, your stuff in so uh, just kind of a cool little feature or kind of a cool little design here so this button basically uh, what it does is it resets everything so that is that uh, let's take a look at the wiring behind it so this is the whole design very compact thanks to Winteg um, a little bit resource heavy but if you're rich then it doesn't really matter uh, for the reset line uh, to reset everything, we just have a line that comes up above here. Here is one module here. So if I get some more stuff out here really quick. Dang it. Make this. Um, here we go. And I come over to this furnace. You can kind of see how it works. So we put in our materials. And then it... Uh, causes a dual, not a dual edge, but a falling edge trigger, which will push up our blocks here, turning on our indicator light, and to reset it, we just push those blocks down, and there we go. So, let's um, look into how we build this. Uh, all the materials you will need is in this chest right here. You're going to need 10 blocks of uh, any item. Um, I'm just going to use blocks of iron. You're going to need 4 blocks of redstone, 4 redstone pieces, two redstone repeaters, um, a sticky piston, two regular pistons, uh, any type of slab. I recommend a cobblestone slab though because they're the cheapest to make, a button, um, a lamp, redstone lamp, and then a furnace. And once you've done that, we can uh, continue building. So first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to build four blocks up. One, two, three, four. And then you can remove the blocks underneath because on top of this you're going to have your furnace. And now that I don't have my furnace here, I can replace that with my lamp. Uh, you're going to need a sticky piston underneath here, like so. And actually you're going to need a lot more sticky pistons. You're going to need two sticky pistons. Sorry about that. I knew it. Dang it, I knew I was gonna I was gonna mess up. But um, anyway, you're gonna put a redstone block there. Um extend out here, you're gonna need a redstone and um, repeater here set to three ticks. Underneath here you're gonna have um, another sticky piston with a regular block there. Put a regular piston right here, and from here you're gonna build up like this, like in this kind of pattern. And then above here, build three blocks up and put a regular piston underneath. Ooh, someone joined the server. Okay, so now from here, you're going to place a block here and then place a block on top of the repeater. Place some more redstone here and then you're going to have to place your slab up above right here. You're going to need a block right here, block right there. And now you can have a 
repeater there and a block here or a repeater there and a piece of redstone there uh, your indicator light goes right here block uh, sticky piston yeah you you need three sticky pistons <laughs> jeez I messed that up another block of redstone and there you go button here so now whenever um, I'm clicking at this I'm clicking at the sticky piston whenever um, you put in stuff here this should work um, we have our block update detector here so when we put in stuff here and then updates and then we just take push the button to reset the indicator light and like I said this is um, chainable two-way or a chain yeah it's chainable oh, I forgot the term like by two blocks um, and then you can put the line up here for the reset line to reset each of the ones um, and there you go too wide chainable that's what I meant too wide chainable um, so there you go thanks to Winteg for the awesome design and be sure to check out the redstone innovation channel for more awesome redstone videos thanks for watching see you guys later bye bye